And to round everything out for EG, it looks like a Sumail Timber Saw is... Yeah, he is not happy. I don't know if this means that Secret are going to have to pull out an audible and change things up between him and the bottom lane or, or what, but something may need to be done here. Something may need to be done about my lag, too. I might, I might, have, to do, I might have to do a reconnect I'm here. Gonna reconnect as well. We were blessed with uh, a nice game one, so hopefully the Great Firewall isn't going to be burning too hot here for game two. We'll keep tabs, though, for now. As Zion Pi... That sounds like a cute duo in itself, Zion Pi. But they are trading blows back and forth. I think there was a false... I think there was a Fortune's End there. Just suddenly a kill. But uh, as they make chase, they will also get the follow-up takedown onto Pi. I will definitely have to reconnect. Mid one moves to move on it, and this is where I'll do it. Sorry, gang. Missed the kill. It looks like they were able to get a grab on the crit after crit was participating in that skirmish for Pi. He evaded into the secret turf. Rotation's back, man. All hands on deck oh, for this kick and snipe from Pi. He's gonna get it. Radiance nice Curry. grab. Pop down the courier. Torrents fly out. Down the EG, we're able to get. They're actually getting a lot of farm in the Ursa, though. Ursa, I thought, had a really tough flame being paired up versus Huskar plus one, but he's almost even in terms of CS. Looks like they're making a move for Zai now. Moving on in, the poison flies. He's able to sidestep that third tick, but really has nowhere to run now. Actually, as I say that, they move in. He gets the torn off. Now they're looking to go for the kill on the pie. He's not going to be able to participate in that one, but Universe will be able to clean it up and get the XP. But now Puppy shows up, hits him up with the ensnare. Can he body block him up? Doesn't look like it. Universe should be able to walk away from some trouble. But uh, another grab for Secret is they'll inch ahead now. Five to three in kills. One on the. Shadow Demon. I thought he was just dead, dead of rights without being able to get anything returned. Long. False promise. Or, sorry, Fortune Pen to land on the mid one with the fall of Torrent. They need a bit more Flame Spears. Is that going to be good enough? It looks like it will. Mid one's going to be going down. And they'll get another secured grab. So, he'll be the kind of insurance policy for this Roche. His eye showing up now, though, but. Too late for him to participate. They actually are going to be turning it back onto him, and they get him with a disruption and an Omni Slash. He goes down. Okay, so it's actually good. How are they going to set up on him? That is interesting, actually. Torrent will not connect. And Forev looks to go in deep. No rotations to come yet. It looks like they might just sack their Tidehunter here. And that seems to be the case. So they'll just turn it into a push onto the Tier 1. Overwhelm the Huskar in the fights. There goes the Air Onto Arteezy. Puppy not looking to pull the trigger on a song yet. Oh, mid one gets the jump, and they're going to quickly take out crit. That means that Arteezy could go down too. And now the response is from EG, but it may have come too late. If any damage wants to get involved, it's only going to be Sumail. So the response is going to be from Rampage, or Ravage rather. And this is going to be a big fight for Secret. EG going to be forced to withdraw. Zai comes in now, but it's too late to really participate. Losing your Huskar and Oracle at the start of this fight. They should have just called this one off altogether. It looks like they'll have to just settle. Looks good. <laughs> Mid one is around, but he sees Sumail. He sees a bottle of Arcane Rune too, I'm sure. And he's not happy about it, but they decide to make the call to go in. Mid one springs from the trees here on the back of my line. I've heard this is going to be enough. It doesn't look like it. He gets help with the false promise for crit. And now Puppy decides to dish out the song, allows them to kind of step back it away. But RTZ on the other side of the song, now going to be isolated. Beautiful pullback, but he begins to arm the toggle right to Puppy, though. And Puppy's hitting him with the Riptide. Aegis is going to be costed now, and Universe and Zai move on forward, and we'll be able to get the grab onto Jug. MP up, leaves openings for mid one, but look at the rest of Secret now coming in from behind for Evan Puppy. Sweep on in, they see crit, they look to go in. Can they make it out? Anchor smash is not enough yet, and crit decides to head up north to pull attention towards himself, but he's still alive and well, turns it back, nukes down mid one a bit, and sadly it ends up healing him. Crit's not going to be able to make it for the deny. Still a strong secret fight. It looks the dust does settle. The back end of that fight is a, another three for three trade. But we're not done yet, Ben. Here he comes. Torrent boat combo. And well, Zai and Sumail take smoke. Not a bit of a nearby board. And now they're making a push to get their body in the But they have spotted out pilot eye. Self disruption. It will not save you. 11 from Zai. 
any sort of momentum that they didn't have in the early part of the game. And right now, Secret in a bit of an awkward spot with pressure coming in on the top part of the map. Chronosphere on bottom as MP tries to slip for them. Oh no. They all run right to the bottom. We'll catch out the jug. Wonderful setup by Universe there. Cool, he can get a blink right now and then. Yeah, he, he actually does have his blink dagger. Just. Oh, Radiant's I thought he was going to sell something, maybe, but killed. looks like not the case. Ooh, Radiant lose their courier up. And, oh, a smoke on the wraparound. Is anyone going to go around? I see Puppy wrapping around the back. He has a relic Radiant's for crying out loud. Whoa, where did he get that thing from? Probably hacked it in, but now they go for the song. A jump does occur. They're going to get the quick takedown of Arteezy in the meantime. This is Secret's time. Locking Zai, back it away. He's not going to be able to help out. Chrono is going to get dropped, and the rest of EG looks to flee. Can they make it back in a way? Mid one's moving in, it looks like they've been able to catch up with Zai, but now Zai rushing out and away here. Might be able to make it up. Not a really good chase game, but now Forev decides to commit it, pops out the Ravage, gets off the gush, will be able to get the finish, taking out Crit. Everyone there. Oh my god. Oh, MP walks in quickly, Blade Fury's back out. Oh, he gets back, four Blade Fury away. Well, they're gonna be waiting for his stop right there, and it could be Universe getting the grab, but he's gonna be forced to time walk back it away. Sumail moves in, looking to finish up. On him in one, can he burst him down in time? Stop will jump in from RTZ. They are gonna get the grab, plus he was. He's gonna be taken down, now they look for Forev. All happening, of course, while he does not have a Ravage to work with. Now Puppy shows up play. Dishes out the song, Secret not looking to back down. And they're gonna look to utilize that new Radiance here, I guess. Dishing out the disruption and more Naga illusions to burn things away. EG off to pull back and get right back into the Roche pit. No Ursa to worry about now, and still no Ravage. No song. No song. Is Forev thinking like some sort of blink in play? And yeah, they have vision. Our universe does have a Chrono here. This is very scary. There's the jump in. It's a bit too early though if they wanted to connect to the Roche. Now Forev's in an awkward spot. He tries to go for a TP, but the Yules is going to be there. Chrono's going to be committed as they catch up MP right outside the front door. They're going to go for the burst. They're going to get it. RTZ is able to grab the Aegis and they back out on the way. Both come crashing on forward, side very low. Trying to rush out of the way, him and Grit in two mana. They're going to be eating the Ravage, but they still hold on. Now in one, jumping right back in the pit. Looking to burst down RTZ. Can he get the Aegis down? It doesn't look like it. RTZ is going to be able to move on in and starts manning up again in one. Turns for Pi. Pi will get burst up. Leads him the good score. Tries to go back for mid one, but mid one's able to win. He gets the double. And technically, Puppy gets a double with the It couldn't have come at a more timely moment for Team Secret. I mean, I guess, you know, when you have Forev, who had been pretty much working in most of the agents, looks like a above. Sai's gonna get taken down, quickly assaulted by Juan. Fable here for Arteezy. But, I mean, he has his own evasion to worry about in the form of that Radiance on the other side. He has something to deal with. Looks like back to back takedowns onto Zai here from Mid One. Again in the top lane while Zai. While it can almost feel one dimensional like the Huskar, they have that Naga insurance policy now, and EG have nothing. And a lot of it was the high ground hold, though. Radiant's Just being able to kill Huskar at, at the point in the game where he's supposed to dominate. Uh -oh. Secret moving in. They have Forev out in front, slowing him down. Radiant's Are they looking to pounce here? Oh and EG step back it away. Goodness. Puppy has come in from behind, and he has got off a hell of a song right now. Allowing Secret to move on in. Forev to be able to connect with the beautiful four man Ravage right there. Looks to go for Crit. They're going to get the quick kill on not one but two as both Arteezy and Crit will fall. Universe tries his best to get the nice chrono off. Can they get the first damage? Taking out MP? No. They will not be able to get that grab. A disruption comes in from My Line Eye and they will begin to clean up. Sumail's also going to be going down. A big fight for Secret. That's in the middle lane, like which delayed his arm lane, fighting by a couple of minutes. And then a top fight. Bo comes out, this might be one of the final hurrahs for EG as they try to save Sumail, they'll hit him with the false promise, he's gonna try to make it back in a way and help the reactive armor's gonna keep him alive, but that leaves Arteezy in the fight, and he's gonna be going down. Crit should be next, and then they'll get the follow-up support and take it outside. Yeah, you can't recover from that. That is definitely gonna be game, and we're gonna be going to game three of Secret vs. EG. That started well and good for EG, and it looked like it was gonna be a possible cheesed out draft with the Huskar creeping in as their fourth pick, but Puppy says that we're not going out like that, man. Easy MVP Puppy. Wow. Easy MVP. I can't believe it when you were like, oh, he has a sacred relic. That was crazy. Yeah. Definitely well, something support Nagas are going to want to watch in a replay where he found the farm and how he got it. That's He got level 6 super early too, which uh, secured.